Hi guys, here's an example of how to fit EFA exploratory factor analysis using R and the PSYCH package. We'll first load the necessary libraries, PSYCH for conducting EFA and ggplot2 for plotting. We'll first use a toy data set. I created here two factors, F1 and F2, each manifesting two random variables, X1, X2 and X3, X4. The first method I talked about in my FA analysis videos was the principal component method. We can do this manually by performing an eigen decomposition on the correlation matrix. For example, if we decide to have only two factors, we will take only the first two eigenvectors and associated and square rooted eigenvalues. The L matrix becomes the product of these two matrices. We can then extract the communalities as being the diagonal of the L times L transpose matrix and the uniqueness as one minus that. We can instead do it by using the principal command in psych. We can either pass the data frame or the correlation matrix. These are equivalent. Notice that we get the same communalities and uniqueness. Remember that if we made the analysis on the covariance instead of the correlation, the results would be a bit different. We can specify to do so by passing the covariance matrix and specifying covar equal true. Notice that the results we get are hard to understand. As explained in my theoretic videos, we can use rotations and try to separate the loadings of the variables between the different factors. Using one popular orthogonal rotation technique called Varimax, we get a much clearer result. The first two variables relate to the first factor and the other two relates to the second factor. We can also use EFA on real data. We'll use a classical data set, which consists of mental ability test scores of seventh and eighth grade children from two different schools and we'll only take the test scores and not any other information. There are several ways to choose the number of latent factors. I will not go into details about this now, but one classic way is called the kaiser gutmann criterion. And according to it, one has as many factors as there are eigenvalues of the covariance or correlation matrix that are greater than one. We can see that there are only three eigenvalues greater than one for our correlation matrix. So we can fit a model with three latent factors. We see that doing so seems to group each three variables into their own latent variable. That's only a limited example, but still I hope it gave you some basic understanding of how to do exploratory factor analysis in R. See you in the next video.